The story of Jesus walking on water is one of the most profound and encouraging narratives in the Bible. It's a story that teaches us what to do when it feels like we're sinking, a story that guides us when we face the ravaging storms of life. As we delve into this remarkable account, let us open our hearts and minds to the powerful lessons it imparts. The Bible in Matthew 14 verses 22 to 27 says, Immediately he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowds. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by the waves, for the wind was against them. And in the fourth watch of the night, he came to them, walking on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. This passage is rich with meaning, and its sequence of events holds deep spiritual insights. Let's break it down. Verse 24, The storm began. The Bible says, For the wind was against them. The disciples found themselves in a difficult situation, far from land, with the waves crashing against their boat. This is often how life feels when we face our own storms, overwhelming and relentless. Verse 26, The Disciples' Reaction When they saw Jesus walking on the water, they were terrified and cried out in fear. It's crucial to note that their initial reaction was fear, even though it was their Savior approaching them. This reaction is so human and relatable. How often do we react in fear when we encounter something unexpected, even if it might be a blessing in disguise? Verse 27, Jesus' Reassurance He immediately spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Here, Jesus provides comfort and assurance, reminding them, and us, that he is always with us, even in the most terrifying situations. Perhaps you've never experienced a literal storm at sea, but I'm sure you've faced stormy situations in your life. Times when you felt overwhelmed, frightened, or uncertain about what the future holds. I can admit that I, too, have felt terrified in the face of life's storms, just like the disciples did. However, the words that Jesus spoke to the disciples many years ago are still as relevant today as they were back then, take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. We are called to be bold, to have courage, and to trust in him, no matter how fierce the storm. Consider this for a moment, the very thing that terrified the disciples, the sight of Jesus walking on the water, was their Savior coming to rescue them. Could it be that God is working in your life through what appears to be a storm? Could the Lord be using the very thing you fear to draw closer to you? Could he be saying, the storm you think will destroy you is the very thing I will use to strengthen you, to uplift you, to bless you? In times of turmoil, it's easy to let fear take over. But we must remember that Jesus is with us in the storm. He's not just observing from a distance, he's walking towards us, ready to offer his hand and say, do not be afraid. A prayer for strength in the storm. Let's us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, my Savior and Redeemer, I come before you, acknowledging the storms in my life. I admit that there are times when I feel overwhelmed, when fear grips my heart, and when I struggle to find peace. But today, Lord, I choose to look to you, the author and finisher of my faith. I reach out for your hand, Lord, believing that you will pull me through this storm. Help me, Jesus, to trust in your timing and your ways. If it is your will that I go through this storm, I pray that my faith would be strengthened and that it would grow as I am tested by this fire. May this storm develop a godly character within me. May it lead me to discover the power of God because it's only during a storm that I can find you to be an ever-present help in times of trouble. 
Lord, I ask that you would develop my faith so that it will go from one level to another, so that my belief in you will grow deeper and stronger. Holy Spirit, open my eyes and help me recognize the favor that I have over my life, despite the storm that I face. Help me to focus purely on Jesus and not become preoccupied with all the things that could happen. Fill me with an assured confidence in the God of the ages. Father, may you always order my steps in everything I do and wherever I may go. Guide me and lead me, for you are my good shepherd. Your word says in Psalm 23 verse 3, He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Help me to embrace whatever comes my way with faith, knowing that you are greater than any storm or situation I may face. Your great love, Lord, displaces all fear. It dispels darkness, and so may your name always be praised for such amazing love. Your word in Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 says, For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. As I face the storms of life, I pray for peace, a supernatural and divine peace that will calm my fears and my anxieties. I pray for a peace that will settle my troubled heart and allow me to place my trust wholly in you, Lord. With your presence, there is security, tranquility, and peace that removes all burdens. With your holy peace, I will be able to press on through any storm and endure to the end. Father, through faith, I believe that you are a sovereign God who is in control. May your Holy Spirit continue to empower me to stand firm and strong. Comfort me when I falter. I will continue to wait on you, Father, for your word says in Isaiah 40 verse 31, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. I thank you, Lord, for holding me together each and every day. Whenever I have needed you, you have been there for me. Whenever I have called on your name, you have heard my cry. Each and every time I've called, you have answered. Cover me with your blood, Lord Jesus. Thank you for listening to this prayer. Amen. Take a time to reflect on the passage. This story is a profound reminder of the importance of faith trust, and courage in the face of life's storms. It's easy to have faith when everything is going well, but true faith is tested when the winds and waves of life threaten to overwhelm us. Jesus' command to take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid, is a call to every believer to stand firm in their faith, to trust in his presence, and to know that he is always with us, even in the most challenging times. When the storms of life rage, we must remember that Jesus is our anchor. He is the one who calms the seas and brings peace to our troubled hearts. We must learn to recognize his presence, even when it comes in unexpected ways. The very storm that seems to threaten us may be the vehicle through which God reveals his power and presence in our lives. If this message has touched your heart and uplifted your spirit, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the storms you may be facing. Remember that Jesus is with you in every situation. He is walking towards you, ready to bring peace and calm to your life. As you continue to seek his presence and grow in your faith, I invite you to explore more content on this channel. There are many more prayers, teachings, and reflections that can help you deepen your relationship with God and find strength in your daily walk with Him. Please like this video if it has blessed you, share it with someone who may need to hear this message, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, be sure to check out the next video where we dive deeper into God's Word and explore more of His promises for our lives. Stay blessed, and remember, no matter how strong the storm, Jesus is stronger. He is with you, guiding you, and giving you peace. Amen.